Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I get a lot of questions about what type of emergency gear do I keep in my car? What type of car kit do I keep? Just so you guys know, this is a 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. Pretty reliable car. That doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't prevent flats, it doesn't prevent uh, emergencies from happening. So I just want to show you the back of the car. I got two things right now in the back of the car that are always with me no matter where I go. Sometimes I have a lot more, uh, but right now it's these two main items, actually three. Uh, there is one other item hiding back there, which I will show you. Uh, the first is this tool kit, which is not really just a tool kit. There's a lot of stuff in this toolbox, and we're gonna open it up and dive into everything uh, in this video. The second item in the back of the car, and I know I've said this before, but I am a New York State Emergency Medical Technician. I do keep a lot of uh, medical and rescue gear in the car. Uh, so that jump bag will be for a later video. And the third item that's kind of hiding back here, not the umbrella, uh, but it's this giant breaker bar. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it so you can see just how big this is. This breaker bar uh, is bigger than the entire toolbox. Reason for the breaker bar, if you get a flat tire, you don't want to sit there with some flimsy tire iron, especially in a truck like this. You want to be able to take that breaker bar and break these lug nuts off right away, get, get, the, uh, get the spare on and get out of there. So without further ado, we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back, we're gonna be inside in the studio and we're gonna go through this toolbox and see everything that is in here, why it's in here, and you know maybe it's something that'll help you guys. All right, see you in a right, second. We're in the studio now, which is really my table. I've got a towel here to kind of protect the uh, surface from all the items in this uh, emergency vehicle kit. We're gonna go through it one at a time I want to start out by saying this is clearly a hard shell toolbox. A lot of people say, well, why don't you carry a backpack in the vehicle? You can keep the emergency stuff in the backpack. That way, if you break down, you could load it up and go. My thing is, I got to be honest, if I break down, I've got to head out on foot. I'm not carrying half the stuff that's in here. These items are to keep me uh, able to fix my car and, and survive in the car. If I've got to head out on foot, I'm not carrying a backpack filled with tools, it's not really gonna do me any good. Uh, plus, I like the fact that this is a hard case. It limits the space that I have. It limits what I put in here so I don't fill it with too much garbage because let's be honest, most of the time in our survival kits in the car, in our bug out bags and anything else, we fill it with lots of stuff that we just don't need. So, with that being said, I got this toolbox on sale at Home Depot. I think I paid 20 bucks. Solid toolbox, it's made by Husky. It's actually traveled with me through multiple vehicles, so I mean, it's, it's worked out through the years. I've had no issues. All right, let's take a look. Let's dig into it. We've got two uh, compartments on the top here. So if I flip this first compartment up, what I have here is a portable AM FM radio. Uh, this is nothing great. I think I paid about maybe 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon, but this radio is very valuable because if I'm stuck, maybe the battery in my car has died, Maybe I need to hear the weather forecast. I want to know if a storm is coming. Uh, maybe there was some significant event that caused me to become stuck. I want to, I want to be able to know what's going on. And this radio allows me to, to kind of keep in touch with the outside world. Also here in the top compartment, I've got a couple of hand warmers. You never know when you're going to need this. Maybe it's the winter time. You break down. You've got to head out on foot. Uh, you've got a flat tire. You've got to get out there in the snow and change a tire. You gotta do something outside of the vehicle. Hand warmers are always a good thing to have. We're gonna move over here to the other side, the other upper compartment. These are items that I need to just grab quickly. I need to grab the radio. I need to grab the hand warmers. Uh, on this side, we've got an emergency poncho. I've got two of these. This might be useful. Maybe there's a rainstorm and I've gotta exit the vehicle. Maybe I just need this in general. Maybe my car didn't break down and I'm just going somewhere and I don't have an umbrella. Uh, these are great. You can also use this to make a shelter if you need to. So I keep two emergency ponchos in the top. I've actually had to use these before. Also up here in the top case, I've got a couple of Sharpies. You never know. You've got to head out. Your vehicle is broken down. You're unable to fix it. Safety reasons or whatever, you need to head out on foot. You need to leave a note for someone. I've got two Sharpies. I could write on the window if I need to. Um, these are great to have in an emergency. I can just leave a note somewhere or you know, communicate with somebody uh, via writing. All right, before we get into the main compartment here, there's a little place here for a lock. I don't need to lock this, it's already in my car. 
But I did put a carabiner here, which is great because it gives me an extra carabiner, which you could do a million things with. You could hang things from this, you could tie a rope to it, you could throw it over a tree branch, uh, endless, endless amounts of things you can do with the carabiner. So I keep that on here. It also kind of makes sure that this stays closed should the latches you know, spring open for whatever reason. All right, I hope you guys can see this all on camera. I'm gonna take these items out one at a time. Uh, this toolbox, which is another thing I really like about it, it comes with a, uh, a lift out tray. So I'm gonna lift the tray out. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna take all these items out. We're gonna talk about them and then we're gonna get to the, uh, the main contents of the box here. I keep an umbrella. You never know when you need an umbrella. I can't tell you how many times this umbrella has come in handy when I've been out on the road uh, and I forgot my normal everyday carry umbrella if it's raining. In here, we've also got an emergency blanket. Again, you don't know when you might have to camp out in your car. Maybe there's a catastrophic problem. Maybe your car, God forbid, caught on fire and, and you could just grab this toolkit. You're able to grab this and run. You couldn't extinguish the fire. You're stuck in the middle of nowhere. You never know when you're going to need a blanket. Um, so I always keep this in the car as well. These are a couple of uh, plastic valve caps for your tire. Maybe you lost one of them and you need to replace it. Uh, I keep a crescent wrench in here. This has personally come in handy a million times for me. And you know, I just want to back up for a second and say most of the stuff in here, while it is for the car, you know, if you're on vacation, if you're going on a road trip and you're staying in a cabin somewhere, or you're at a hotel or a motel or camping or whatever, having these tools in your car allows you to have these tools wherever you are when you're away from home. If you're in a hotel, if you're upstate, if you're at a ca uh, cabin in Vermont, and maybe there's some small thing that breaks down, maybe the faucet's leaking, uh, maybe you know a bolt is loose on some piece of furniture, you don't know. Having these tools allows you to just kind of make your life a little bit easier. You don't have to call anyone, you don't have to go anywhere. Just go out to your car, you get these tools, and they're with you at all the time. So crescent wrench, great thing to have. I've also got a, a screwdriver here. This is a all-in-one screwdriver, so it's got Phillips flathead on a large size and a smaller Phillips in a flathead. You can reverse it. You can also just take this out and use this on a lot of uh, screws. So this is great. This is invaluable. I've personally used this many times uh, when I've been away. Uh, I carry my bicycle with me when I go on road trips and I go places and I've used that to kind of tune up the bike. Box cutter. You never know when you're going to need a box cutter. You got to cut something, you got to cut a piece of rope, you got to cut a piece of power cord, maybe you got to open a package. Uh, you have no idea. Maybe you got to cut a seatbelt really quick in an emergency. You can't find your seatbelt cutter. You're trying to rescue somebody else in their car. You never know when you need a box cutter. This could also be used in self defense. If you've got to head out, maybe you're in a little bit of a dicey situation and you don't have anything else, you can always use the box cutter for self defense. Um, a roll of electrical tape, because why not? You have a leaking hose, you have some wires that are frayed, uh, you know, whatever you may need, electrical tape always comes in handy. Again, maybe not even in the vehicle, maybe you're in this cabin, in this hotel, in this motel, in a friend's house, somewhere, you need some electric tape, why run out to the store when you've got it right here in your car? Maybe you can't even go to a store, maybe it's a grid down scenario. I keep a couple of more tools in here, a couple of pliers, some wire cutters, another smaller crescent wrench. I picked these up, I think I paid a couple of dollars, but you know what, they're invaluable to have uh, in the car because when you do need it, you're going to wish you had it. Tire gauge, backup tire gauge. You always want a tire gauge. You're on the road, you get a low pressure light coming on. Is it a faulty sensor? Is it a problem with your tire? You don't know. These gauges are cheap. They don't cost a lot of money. I think I bought this one in AutoZone. This might have cost me a dollar. This is magnetic as you can see, but with the low cost comes the fact that they could be faulty, they could break. So why not have two? I paid a little bit more. I think I paid about $15 for this one. This is a good one, but I like having two. You also may lose one. You never know, in an emergency, you take it out, you're using it, you're checking that tire, uh, you had a flat, you've got to put the spare on and you leave it behind. Then a couple of days later, you have another problem. Oh crap, you lost your tire gauge. Nope, you have a backup. So it's always good to have two of these. This is a tool that came with a Leatherman that I had bought. Um, it has a little, uh, like a wrench on here, it's got a bottle opener, it's another carabiner. Again, something small, something valuable. Maybe you need to set up camp somewhere and you're gonna take this and the carabiner that was holding the lid shut and you're gonna string a line across and you're gonna make a shelter. You don't know what you could use this for, but it's great to have it. 
uh, and it takes up no space. Next up, our trusty can of WD-40. This is super awesome. Uh, it's a penetrant, it's a lubricant, maybe you've got a squeaking door hinge, maybe, again, this hypothetical scenario, you've gone on vacation, it's a road trip, you've driven somewhere, there's something wrong with an item inside the hotel, the house, the cabin, the campsite, you never know, why not have a can of WD-40? Maybe your lock froze on somebody else's car or your car, no idea, always got the WD-40. This, so this is a size 21, this is a socket to fit the lug nuts of my vehicle, the Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, and this is a half inch size, which mates up nicely with the breaker bar in the back of my car that we saw earlier. If I get a flat somewhere, I am not futzing around with that tire iron that came with the vehicle. I'm taking out the heavy duty breaker bar, it's heavy duty socket, and I'm gonna have those lug nuts off very quickly because I'm not gonna waste time on the side of the road. I wanna get that tire changed and I wanna get out of there. Being on the side of the road is not safe. You don't wanna be there. You want to get it done and get out. Next, this is my backup Leatherman. This is actually one of the original Leathermans. Um, and I keep this in here as a backup. I have one in the main compartment of my vehicle, but this is a backup one. I don't use this. This just lives in the tray because I know if I really need a Leatherman, chances are the one that I keep in my car all the time, I've used and I've left it somewhere. So I want to know that I always have one. I'm just going to move this out of the way here. And Guys, we haven't even touched the surface. And look at all this material that is in this case just from the top compartment and the tray. So you can see what I'm saying. The toolbox layout is working pretty well. And I hope on the camera that, that we can see all this stuff. So I'm, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to have room to lay everything out. So I'll show it to you and then I'm going to kind of move it out of the way. Uh, next up here, it's a cable that I got a long, long time ago and I had a Jeep Wrangler. And it was meant as kind of like a cheesy jump starter. You plug it into the cigarette lighter of one car and plug it into the cigarette lighter of the other car. It can kind of charge your battery. Do I really trust this? No. But would I try it in desperation? Absolutely. Why not? I've got nothing to lose. If I'm using this, the battery is dead to begin with. Um, so I didn't want to throw it out. I felt like I could find some use out of it. So it's in the kit here. Reflective vest. Guys, I've said this before in my other videos, I'm a New York State emergency medical technician. I have responded to hundreds, if not thousands of calls for motor vehicle accidents through the years. I have seen people die. I have seen trucks sideswipe people that were standing on the side of Interstate 95. You don't want to be on the roadway and not seen. I mean, I literally saw somebody have their legs severed. You want to wear a reflective vest if you're out there on the road for any reason. You got to exit your car and step onto an interstate, a highway, a roadway, you want to have a vest on, you want to have safety, you want people to see you. Being safe is more important than fixing the tire or any of these other issues. Trust me on that one. Kind of going with the reflective vest, some road flares. I constantly have to restock these. I use these road flares all the time. Not just for myself, because I don't really break down a lot, knock on wood. But I go out and I rescue a lot of people. I got friends that call me all the time that say, hey man, my car, I got a flat, I got stuck, I got this, I got that. So I'm always going out there to help others if they need help. And the first thing I do, I don the reflective vest, I light a couple of road flares, I strategically place them, and then I try to help them. Um, but look at this, $5.99. Is your life worth $5.99? It's certainly worth more than that. Buy a couple of packs of these road flares. I always keep six with me unless I've used them, and then I try to replace them right away. All right, moving on into the kit here. It's a little pouch that I just kind of keep in here. And in this pouch, again, keep some more Sharpies, some pens, another mag light. Uh, I did a quick review on this mag light in my EDC carry uh, dump. This is a great light. It's two, uh, two triple A's. I've actually had this in this pouch for probably about six or seven years now. These batteries still work great. It's a really high quality mag light. I really recommend it. Uh, I also keep a little fire starter kit in here. This is waterproof, it's got waterproof matches, I've got some tinder in there, and another striker, uh, should I need it. The other thing I keep in this kit, and I'm gonna tell you guys, you really should think about doing this, is I keep some extra cash in this kit. So it's always in the car, it's in a kind of inconvenient spot, so I don't use it on every day, right? If I'm going to a drive-through and I'm getting some lunch or some food, and I don't have money, it's very inconvenient for me to get out of the car and go all the way to the trunk and take this whole kit apart. But that's the purpose. I don't want to spend this money. I'm keeping some cash in here in case I really need money. I'm broken down. I'm somewhere in the middle of nowhere 
And you know what? Cash talks. I can't hand somebody a credit card in the middle of nowhere. They're not gonna. They're not gonna care. So it's good to have some cash. Also, you might be driving. God forbid there's a grid down scenario. You're in the summertime. Uh, power grid goes down. Maybe it's the heat. Maybe it's a hurricane, a tornado, terrorist attack. You have no idea. But you want to be able to use that cash immediately to get some items. What do we have next? We've got some safety goggles. Believe it or not, many years ago in the Bronx, when I was working on an ambulance, somebody went to jumpstart the battery. We were stuck at a hospital. My partner went to jumpstart it. Boom. The whole battery blew up. My partner got badly injured. We were already at a hospital, so they were able to treat him. But I'm telling you, when you're jumpstarting a car, put those safety glasses on. Those batteries, they build up sulfuric acid. It starts to get into the atmosphere. You hook up that terminal wrong, you cause a spark. Before you know it, you're going to have an explosion. Trust me, I saw it. I will never forget it. Safety glasses all the time. Some zip ties, various sizes. These are great. You got a leaking hose clamp. Maybe there's some wire that's dangling. Maybe your bumper's falling off. Maybe your hubcap is falling off. Who knows? But I'm telling you, these are going to save you. I used to have an old diesel Mercedes many years ago. I was driving and I heard this bang and all this scraping. Basically what happened was on an old diesel Mercedes, there's this giant rubber ring that kind of holds the exhaust system uh, to the frame of the car. It acts as a buffer. Well, over the years, that rubber rotted and it just fell apart. I was able to use some zip ties, fix it right on the side of the road, and I was good to go. Um, those are very useful. Right here we've got a weatherproof adult poncho. I know we've already got two ponchos there. This is an even nicer one. Uh, again, you never know. You're in a hurricane, you're in a storm situation, you're driving, it's a beautiful day out of nowhere, a storm approaches. That's some valuable stuff to have. Jumper cables. Everybody should have jumper cables. You see these are all nice and shiny and new. I keep them that way intentionally for when I need them. I usually keep a crappy pair in the car in case I got to stop and help somebody else, but I want to know at all times that I have jumper cables for my car. These will not be opened unless they're for use on my car. Anybody else will use the extra ones because you know when you use jumper cables, you don't get them back, you forget them, I'll give them back to you later, you never see them again when you need them. So this is always for my car. An air horn. This is great. You may need to signal for help. You might be somewhere where your vehicle is dead, you're stranded, or maybe it's a self-defense scenario and you need to scare someone, an animal, who knows. This is great to have a small portable boating air horn in your car. Paracord, again, I hate to sound cliche, because why not? Everybody needs paracord, everybody uses this stuff, it's great, you gotta tie something down to the roof rack, you gotta tie the trunk open, uh, who knows? But paracord is great. Pardon me, the box is starting to fall a little bit here. A uh, pair of work gloves. You're changing that tire, you're working on the car, you're fixing that bumper, you're fixing that exhaust system, you're on the side of the road. It's dirty. You don't want to get cut, you don't want to become injured. Keep a pair of gloves on you. These are from Home Depot. I think I paid a couple of bucks, but they're really strong. They've got a, a rubber backing here. They're not cut proof, but you know what? I would use these any day of the week over my bare hands. All right, we've got two more items left in the box. This kit right here from Smitty Built. What could this be? Good question, let me tell you. This is actually a tire repair kit. So guys, for those of you that don't know, I, I do a lot of camping, I do off-roading, I go into the woods, I go places where help is not easily accessible. If I get a flat tire, sure, I've got a spare. If I get two flat tires, I'm kind of in trouble. So with this kit, it comes with tire plugs, it comes with valve stems, it comes with the tools to insert tire plugs, rubber cement, uh, some pliers, patches, uh, a knife, everything I'm going to need to patch my own tire. And if you don't know how to do it, it comes with instructions as well. This is my last resort. If I get it flat on the side of the road, I'm not getting out on Interstate 95 and patching my tire. But if I'm up in the woods and God forbid I get a flat or somebody I'm with gets a flat and they don't have a spare and it's either fix it or you're stuck there for hours, I'm going to fix it. So this is a relatively inexpensive kit. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it, but you know what? In my opinion, it's worth its weight in gold if you need it. Finally, the last item in here, and I'm going to close the lid so this box doesn't fall over. I've got an air compressor. This is made by Vaclite. I bought this on Amazon. This is like 25 bucks. I did my homework on it, got all positive reviews. This is not a fabulous uh, professional air compressor here, 
But what it is, is it's a, I'm gonna save you because you're stuck and you need air in your tire, air compressor. It's got a plastic piston, so you know this is not like professional use, right? This is gonna break down at some point. And one of the reviews I read, the, the person had a good point. They bought two. One of them they tested, they inflated their tire, they inflated air toys, bicycle, all sorts of stuff, um, like volleyballs, and everything worked out great. But the person said, the second one, I'm gonna keep in my car and I'm not gonna test it, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna leave it in there until I need it because if I only get one use out of it, that's good enough for me. And I'm kind of of that same mindset. This is a pretty good compressor. You set the pressure to what you want it to be and you turn it on and it fills up that tire, that beach toy, balloon, volleyball, basketball, bike tire, whatever you want. Uh, it fills it up and then it turns off once it reaches that desired pressure. Uh, it's got a super long cord. Uh, like I said, I paid about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. It's made by Vac Light, uh, Vac Life, I'm sorry. Uh, it's yellow, so in case you see it on Amazon or if you would like the model number, just let me know. And, uh, I'm happy to look it up and tell you. Uh, but I think this is great. I think this is great to have. It's also got a built-in light and you know what? I'm not going to use it. If I need this, it's because my tire is out of air. It's because I got a flat on the side of the road and my spare doesn't have air. It's because I got a nail in the tire and I'm far from home and it has a slow leak. And now I need it because that leak has reached a critical point. It's great to have. Um, I would recommend you guys have this as well. One item that's missing from here and you would say, wow, why did you not talk about first aid? You're an EMT. Well, the reason I didn't talk about first aid here is because I don't have a first aid kit in this bag. I actually have an entire first aid jump bag on the car, which we'll get into in another video. I do highly recommend you guys have a first aid kit. Uh, I actually have a separate first aid kit right here, which was from another video. Uh, it is not included in this kit. Again, I do have a large jump bag in my car, but this is the Maxpedition. I think this is the fatty organizer. Uh, and I've kind of built a, a small first aid kit here for when I go to the range uh, with some basic trauma supplies, gauzes, tapes, uh, you know, stuff that I might need. God forbid an incident occurs. Uh, and I would definitely recommend you guys uh, keep a first aid kit in the car. Again, I have a very large first aid kit, a jump bag in my vehicle, and we'll do another review on that. Uh, but if you are not an EMT, if you're not comfortable with a larger medical kit, definitely keep a small one. I'll do a review on this as well. Uh, on my channel that way you can kind of get some ideas just in case you don't want a larger one so i hope this video has helped you guys uh, please like and subscribe it really uh, will do me a huge favor i'm trying to build the subscription base on the channel here and i'd like to know that you guys are watching and that you like it all right have a great day